Good morning and welcome to another Fun Friday video from 303 Tech. This is Clint Larson. Hey, today we're going to be talking about hardware, like computers and computer chips and how that relates to the overall performance of a computer. A lot of people think, hey, I need to get a faster processor, so they get these things that are i9 and i7, i5, I and mean, what does all that mean really? And so they, you know, they think, hey, the bigger the number, the better, the faster. Well, Intel hasn't really named their chips differently for a lot of years, and so it's really this i3, i5, i9, i7, sorry, I forgot about that one. Um, and they think, okay, yeah, I'm going to get the i9, but the thing that they don't realize is there's generations behind it. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, we're up to the eleventh generation. So, um, it's important to understand when you're purchasing a computer what generation of, of processor you're getting. A lot of people think, oh, I need the most amount of RAM that I can get out there. So you can get the fastest processor and the most amount of RAM, but if you don't have a hard drive to match it, they think, oh, I need bigger and bigger hard drives. I've had a one terabyte hard drive for years. I'm not even close to filling it up. So I scaled it back. So it's, I think I have a 512 gig and I'm still not even half full. So the thing is, is you need to understand what you're going to be using this computer for. There is a big difference between an SSD hard drive, an M.2 hard drive, and a regular SATA spinning hard drive that we're used to. And for the most part, those are huge performance factors over processor and over RAM. But there's obviously a balance between the RAM and the processor as well. But overall, I know this is a long ways to get around it, hardware in general, as long as you have an SSD hard drive, a decent processor like an i5, um, and RAM, 8 gigs, 16 gigs, then the performance that you're going to be getting on most business computers isn't going to matter. If you're into high-end gaming or CAD or something else, yes, it's going to matter a lot more. But most people using the internet, email, Word documents, Excel documents, that kind of stuff, they're not going to notice a big performance difference. So just keep in mind what you're actually going to be using the computer for. And overall, there are some factors but it's not going to affect the performance too much. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful weekend, and if you need anything, please let us know. Thank you.